All right, so I want a die roll. So this is a good hand. We'll go ahead and keep this. So I'm gonna go turn one curse catcher. Um, Maybe it's the right call to Ancestral Recall. Nope. That's what I meant to do was uh, bait out that mental misstep. Mystic Remora. So that's um, going to be a great sort of source of card advantage for them. Um, it would have been great to have this Force of Will for that Mystic Remora. I think I'm going to get Ancestral here. I'm going to always yield for that. Um, yield to that for now. Um, there's no way I can pay for that, so. So we're going to go ahead and force. So this is, um, that card is just going to be really bad for us. Fortunately, it does um, tax their mana. But I have a feeling they'll keep it around for a little while. I think it's already drawn them two cards. Yeah, and with this mana crypt, they're going to be able to keep that Mystic Remora for probably the whole game. Just with how my hand is shaping up, I don't know that uh, this is turning out real well for me. I think I'm going to get rid of the Tundra, run out of Lord. So there's a paradoxical outcome. So I'm not sure if they're maybe looking for a gush there. I could time walk. I think I'd rather get the Lord out. And we'll try to hit that Remora with a mental misstep. So that was good for us. We kind of, um, so here's a brainstorm. So here's that mana crypt again. Found a Mox Ruby, Mox Opal. So that's unfortunate. Um, for the most part, these are just a lot of kind of like do nothing cards. Would have been nice if they just kind of had to sit on them for a little while. So hopefully they just drew more, um, you know, mana rocks and cards that don't really matter. So next turn, hopefully maybe we draw into like another Lord and then we can go Lord time walk. I'm gonna get lucky on a couple of these Mana Crypt flips. Is it flip a coin? Yeah, flip a coin. So there's a Remora. Lotus. So again, the, the Remora is just kind of bad for us. 
Missed up would have been nice last turn. I could just not play into that Remora and just kind of keep chipping away. I think I'll do that for one turn. I've got the four mana to pay for the Remora if I need to mental misstep uh, um, of I'll take key next turn. And like I said earlier, hopefully we'll get maybe lucky with these mana crypts. So I'm uh, 0 for 4 on mana crypt triggers tonight, I think. So there's just some backup for that um, key combo. Hey, so we won one. So that seems fine. Hmm. So I think I'm going to run out the master and time walk. So I think I want to time walk first. So he has um, one last card that could be a counter spell. That's a lot of mana. So a force of will. Okay. I think we can still run out this master. And so I kind of feel like they have to draw into the um, key combo this turn. Um, if they find a Tezzeret, then we can't really do anything about it. But if they just actually have the key, then we'll be able to men mental misstep it. So I think I need to get a little counter going on the chat for uh, um, mana crypt triggers. All right, so that's one thing about those um, those decks that are heavy with the mana artifacts is that sometimes they just keep drawing into these cards that don't really matter. I think I'm gonna bring in Stifle, try to get a Planeswalker um, trigger, maybe a Chain of Vapor. Don't need Dismember. I like Nelrod. I think I can shave an image and probably a true name. So we'll run that.
Yeah, I don't have enough experience playing against Tesserator to know if they side endure anything weird. So I'm kind of just attacking what their, uh, you know, main strategy is. So this seems like a good start. We got some pressure. Um, we have a force of will. So they had the mulligan down to six. They put a card on bottom. It's good for us. Got some nice guru lands. Another force of wills. Even better for us. So hopefully this Curse Catcher will be able to do its best Nakatl impression with these two lords. But we might end up having to pitch one to a Force of Will. So I could strip mine the Tundra. But I think I like being aggressive and just running out. A lord. And then that way we can strip my next turn and still continue to um, kind of build our board up. And uh, now we actually have a better target for strip mine, so rewarded for that so um, if we keep drawing blue cards that would be great but I think even with just one more lower down on the board our clock is good enough that we can just kinda keep putting pressure down So maybe this is a little bit greedy. Maybe I want to have the cards in here for So I think I'm going to curse catcher the mind break trap. I'd rather have the two lords. So I'm basically just missing out on What, let's see, two damage here. One damage, actually. So balance, we definitely need a force of will that. So to get rid of the other Lord, or to get rid of the other force of will. I'm tempted to get rid of the Lord so that we can have this Force of Will, um, but that means that we're going to have to draw into something that's a blue card, and then not play that, and then draw into something, you know, the next turn to keep building our board up. So I think we're, I think we just take an aggressive line here. Um, we're going to be able to get rid of this balance. We're going to waste land the Tundra. So actually, a Silver Gold Adept is great. Get rid of the Tundra, hopefully take them off of uh, some cards in their hand. We need to cast the Silver Girl of Death right now while we can uh, still have a Merfolk in hand. And then that'll be lethal next turn if we have uh, the other Lord out. It's actually already lethal. So the Mox Opal's not active. 
Now it is. So see if they can storm off here. That's fine. So we're still going to be able to swing in for four, five, six, seven. So if we draw another Lord, it'll be lethal. We did not. Um, so I'm just going to hold on to this island. And in fact, um, it doesn't really speed up our clock any running this Lord of Atlantis out. So I'm just going to hold on to it. And just um, keep them off a card. I'll probably cut around the island out, but um, again, I'm, it's just kind of nice to bluff the cards in hand like I have interaction. Um, I don't really think playing another island out is going to matter next turn. So we won that one.